Hello everyone, welcome back to RP Automation YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see one of the fundamental feature of Automation Anywhere, working with files and folders. Whether it's organizing files, extracting data, or managing directories, Automation Anywhere make it simple and very effective. So, uh, file and folder operations are critical in any business. Think of uh, managing documents, moving files, organizing reports or extracting data from specific directories. Automation Anywhere features streamline these repetitive tasks, saving time and reducing human exceptions. So uh, let's look at the main commands in Automation Anywhere for handling files and folders. So first of all, we need to search here files. So you can you can see here so many uh, actions available inside of file package. We are going to see or we are going to use one by one uh, or we are going to explain one by one action in automation anyway. So assign is nothing but we can assign any uh, file path in that uh, using this action. So you can see here I am going to assign a path here and create one input uh, create one variable and let's try to run to see final output So we can get name uh, using get uh, path or using a name also we can get uh, our file. So I'm going to run to see. So uh, in, inside of file package, so many actions is available. Create folder, delete, create file, delete file, move and copy rename so we are going to see one by one all our actions inside of file package so you can see here our uh, we have selected by name so our files name is showing here using assign action we can uh, use this action likewise so we, we are going to see next action inside of file uh, package so you can see here copy desktop file I'm going to delete above two actions. Copy desktop file. So we can copy all uh, your desktop file to your destination uh, folder. Right. So I'm going to copy uh, this path. Right. So uh, I want to copy this file into my destination folder. So my destination folder is inside of RPA test data and here. Right. So just I'm going to copy this uh, path and paste it here. Save and try to run to see our bot is copying or testing data properly or not. So it's run successfully and we are going to uh, check our data is copy successfully or not. So you can see here our file is uh, pasted here successfully. So using this action we can use this action for the copy and paste data or our files. So create 
using this action we can create uh, our files uh, this action we can use inside of uh, error log when we want to generate our error log that time we can use this action create a file or a folder so this actions is very useful when you need to set up uh, directories uh, the command let you specify a path and name for the folder or file you want to create. So I want to create a file in my destination uh, path. So I want to create here. Uh, so let's try to copy here. And inside of test data, I want to create one file like data. And just try to run for what is creating file or not. If you want to overwrite a uh, file again and again, then we will need to uh, select this off checkbox here. Right. So let's check inside of test data. So you can see here our demo. Uh, name created file we can see here is created using notepad right so we have uh, seen three actions delete is simply if you want to or if you need to delete any specific file then we, uh, we can use these actions so I am going to uh, delete just we have created file demo and just copy a part. I want to delete this file and try to run. We can uh, we can create here or we can uh, check select here uh, size and date also. We can uh, create filters like if the size is unable to create okay first we need to delete this section and then try to run so files and folder is very very important when we are going to dealing with a number of files or if you want to rename a number of file at, at a time that time uh, files and folders is very useful so our bot is run successfully. We are going to check here. So you can see here, demo name uh, file we are not able to see. So it means bot is deleted successfully, right? So using delete action, simply we can delete our files. Copy control room file. If you uh, if you have uploaded uh, files in the control room then we can uh, copy uh, those files into the uh, our destination folder so get name so if you want to uh, see the name of uh, any files then we can use this action get name it will give you our uh, your uh, pdf name or your files name right i am going to take one message box To check a uh, file, this action is giving or working properly or not. So I just want to uh, take uh, only name of my files. So you can see here what is working uh, fine, but it's able to fetch our only PDF file name. So using this action, we can get only file name. Similarly, uh, another action is available like get path. So we can uh, we can get a path also. Right. So we, uh, this action is giving us to file path. And open, simply we can open. If you want to open any file, then we can use this action. Simply, I just want to open my file. This one. And try to run. 
if we want to open any file, then we can use this open action inside of file package. Right. So you can see here what is able to open my file. Simply here we can print our files or uh, if you want to uh, print multiple files, then you can use this action. Then we, if you uh, if we want to uh, rename any file, if you want to uh, give any meaningful name for the any uh, your file or any um, your you can say error log process log then if you want to rename this file then you can use this action and using these two actions uh, we can create a uh, shortcut for the our target file and we can use uh, the, using this action we can create any symbolic uh, link so uh, using this action we can uh, we can manipulate or we can uh, dealing with any n number of files so uh, and another uh, another question is we are going to solve here folder folder packet so you can see here n, n number of actions is available inside of folder package as as suggest in the name we can uh, assume what this action is working for which action uh, for uh, what 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 is the purpose of this actions so you can see here zip so using this zip, zip action we can uh, zip any uh, folder if you want to send uh, anyone to a folder so uh, we need to zip that folder so using this action we are able to zip our uh, folder Using this action, we can copy um, our folder. So you can see here, source folder. We need to give here source folder and we can copy that folder into our destination folder. Right, so create. If you want to create any uh, folder, then we can use this action. Just uh, I just want to create a folder inside of uh, here. In the desktop, I just want to create folder like demo so copy paste and inside of api test data i just want to create demo name folder right and just uh, try to run what is able to create or not this action is very uh, useful when you want to create a uh, exception uh, log or process log so you can see here what is able to uh, create or not inside of rb test data you can see here demo name folder is created successfully right so delete folder i just want to delete folder which we have created just now this demo folder i just want to delete so we can just copy this path and uh, paste in inside of folder here so try to run and see our folder it should be deleted it's looking like a, a very hard uh, but it's uh, very easy to understand and it very easy to create also so you can see here inside of uh, rb test data uh, demo name folder is uh, already deleted so using this, this action we can easily delete our files or folders so using this action we can create any shortcut for any folder open we can uh, this using this action we are able to open any folder rename if you want to rename any folder then you can use this action simply or similarly create sim symbolic link is uh, similar to the we have seen this action inside of file package so using this action we can create symbolic link so uh, this files and folders actions is very very important so imagine you receive multiple reports every month in a single folder with automation anywhere 
and uh, if you want to rename these files at a time or if you want to copy this uh, moving this data into your source source folder to your destination folder that time this actions is very very important if you for that we can use uh, using loop action and uh, using loop action inside of loop action we can put rename uh, action then we can easily able to rename all our files so uh, here's a quick tips to keep uh, your mind to uh, working with files and folder so always verify path before running a destructive command like delete set up logging to track file activities for audits uh, use variables names wisely to avoid confusion especially when processing multiple files so uh, that's a quick uh, tour of working with files and folders in automation anywhere mastering these uh, commands will enhance your automation skill and open up a lot of possibilities in document management, data extraction, and file organization. So, um, the uh, for today's video, that's all, guys. If you want to create new uh, videos, to um, please comment down on below. So, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more automation anywhere tutorials or interview questions. Or uh, thank you for watching.